Good afternoon. And I receive dozens of phone calls every week from clients, potential clients, families of clients, uh, all asking different questions and concerns. Because going through the federal criminal process, it, it's a very scary time for everyone. I received an interesting call this morning from someone, a client, who pointed out how much he really enjoyed listening and watching my videos. And I was kind of surprised at his comment. He said, Sam, you know the reason I really enjoy watching your videos? He said, because they're short. I simply don't have the time or patience to sit through a 15 or 20 minute video listening to somebody preach to me. I would rather understand the gist of your topic. And then if I have questions, inevitably I do, I pick up the phone and I call you. So Michael, thank you very much for the compliment. Today, I wanted to talk about jobs in prison. Every time I prepare somebody for the surrender, inevitably one of the questions that they ask, or certainly one of the topics that I bring out, is the need to get a job in camps, in a federal prison camp. Every federal prison camp is a work camp, therefore jobs are required. When you get there, as I explain to people, there's two different choices. You can be reactive. You can sit around, wait until your first meeting with your counselor, it's called A&O, and get assigned to the kitchen. Because every new entrant to a camp typically will get assigned to the kitchen for at least the first 90 days. Or, and this is what I did, you can be proactive. I advise people in the first week or so, you'll meet other uh, white collar offenders that, that are there. Remember, at some point, everyone was new to the camp. Walk around, ask them about different jobs. Maybe a job in landscaping, maybe a job in the chapel or an orderly or in the medical office, or I had a client that just got a job in the warden's office. Depending upon what you want to do, if you have the amount of time you're there, you can be a town driver. There's a myriad of job opportunities that you might be able to access while you're in prison. But if you're not proactive and take the bull by the horns and try to get a job, that's something that you're interested in doing, you can be reactive and your counselor will put you in the kitchen. So when discussing what am I gonna do while you're there, you're gonna work, you're gonna take classes, but specifically when it comes to jobs, there are different opportunities. Some opportunities might help you once you get out and part of your release plan. So while you'll look at the, the short blog that accompanies this video and give you some ideas, I encourage you, reach out, give me a call, text, or email me and we can have a much longer conversation about what you can do or your loved one should do while you're in prison. Thank you.